Okay, first of all, what we're gonna do now, I have a few poles on the circle. The circle is always there as well. We did the work now, the flat a little bit on the circle, but as well to start, you know, the movement, the gallop, that the horse is going active, correct, stay in the balance, you make nicely on the circle. That's why I first, you know, put in the beginning three poles uh, to, uh, to gallop correct over the three poles. Afterwards, later on, you do this, the same exercise you do with the uh, Cavalettis. So that we want to have a slow, because it's, it's, it's helping the horse that we with our seat, we can give impulsion, but we still can control and collect the horse with this. So we get actually more with some horses. When you have a, 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 a hot horse, you have to just make the horse that the horse is waiting for you. The other horses, you know, you want that the hind legs is coming from the ground. The activity from the hind legs should be there. And that's always a nice exercise because here as well, before we start to make the circle, you know, don't not make a big circle. Mm -hmm. And then you see, you know, because the nice thing is you can feel yourself but outside rain. Huh? You can feel yourself how small you can make the circle. So and then you slowly outside leg a little bit more back, outside leg back, outside leg more back, outside leg more back. So leave the inside rein a little bit loose, just keep contact with the outside rein. Good, good, good. Okay, and then leave him again. Perfect, perfect. Okay, now you do the same exercise. Circle, outside leg a little bit more back. It's very important that the, out, that the legs are correct from the rider as well. Not that the legs is just too far to the front. So, slowly start to make small. Smaller. Perfect, super. So, there you see, there. Good. Good, super. So, get ready. Outside rain. First as well, it's very important as well with your seat. So, push to the bit and then you can slow down, but go to outside rain. So, turn, turn, not too far out. And sit, slow down, suck, cock. Slow. Eh? But try to keep it a circle. Now you make an egg. Come. Check. Check. Active. Good. Good. Very good. Oh, it's so fast. You know, you say you have to slow down. Active, but slow down. Make the horse wait for you. Slow down. Slow down. Slow again. Once again. And because here you can already see, you can make the exercise very difficult. Very good. Okay. Maybe it's good as well to, that you explain yourself, you know, the exercise, what we, what we have been doing, how the feeling is for you, you know, if you, because it is very important, you know, because I can say a lot of things. Important is that the rider should have the same feeling, how it's for him. Yeah, for me, for me, the feeling is actually good. Especially when we make a circle really small, then you feel that the horse really has to collect and then the, the hind legs really have to work. And I think um, this is really good for this exercise. That's a nice thing, you know, when we work on the circle, we can do both directions. We have the left hand and we have the right hand. If the horse is bending correct, if he's correct bended in his body, that you're ready from the feeling. You know, sometimes it's going a little bit too much forward, next time it's going too slow. And all these things, you know, this, this has to happen. It cannot be, you know, just an easy way. We want, we want, want to make exercises, you know, we have to see the sense of the exercise. Thank you, Enno. You have been doing a nice, nice job. It was nice watching you. Now we're going to see Laura with her seven-year-old mare. What is actually good that we're making a little bit of similar exercises what we did with Enno as well, just with different horses, with different personality, because it's very important by flying changes, you know, to have the correct balance, that the horse staying correct and straight in front of you. Because when the horse is straight, there is no problem for flying chains. It's always, you know, most of the time the people want to change the, the, the gallop. Eh? But the horse should just, and even there, when you don't, Laurie can show one time, don't do anything, just make a little bit your left rein, just your left rein, leave the horse gallop. And when you just 
look, let the horse look a little bit to the left. The horse should follow to make the flying change. Make one time. Little bit bend them to the left, bend the horse to the left and wait. So, then you see the horse will stay straight in front of you without doing anything. You know, that the balance is there, the horse is correct in, in, in a straight line, then the flying change will be no problem. Not try to make this a big, big circle, the circle as small as possible. Makes the riding more easy. Okay, try to come. Make for yourself, try to make the circle as small as possible. So, and stay small, 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 small. Come, it's already there. You should stay inside of me. Good. So, and turn, turn, turn. There you have straight away as well that the horse learns, you know, when you keep the contact with the rein, that the horse is not afraid from the, from the, from the bridle. Huh? Because that is actually, you know what we need? We need the connection between our seat and our hands. The horse should be, you know, we want to have the control. The horse should be sensitive in the mouth, but he should not be afraid. He has to learn as well to take some contact. Because for every rider, the most difficult is when you approach the fence and you have nothing in your hands, everything is loose. Then it's much more difficult to get a correct distance to the jump. And the other thing is, well, it makes sometimes you push already too early. When you have the feeling my horse is taking me, I can bring my body back. So I can take more time for this. Okay, then you make it on the, other, on the right side. So first from you see it, bring the horse to the bridle. And first of all, let the horse take you. And the circle as small as possible. Small, turn, turn. Good, very nice. Good. Good. Oh, very nice. And then you can see already here, after the poles, you already can work again. You know, this like a come. Use your seat. So the horse is accepting this. Very good. And there you're already trying your work on to get, give the right impulsion. Very good. And slow down, walk again. Very nice. Now is the right moment to start jumping. The horse is relaxed and in the right balance. This is very important. 